So let's get in. Uh, now you see that um, in the card partition we have a file called depth.eng. Uh, now we we will flash this into partition number 13 by entering the following commands. It takes uh, about uh, 15 minutes, so I'll continue in the next part of this video guide. So, as you can see, uh, I have flashed my Debian partition number 13. So, uh, now we shall reboot our Kindle into fast boot mode. You can do this by selecting reboot options in the main menu. So now I am going to flash to partitions uh, bootload and uh, partition number 14 called Linux boot. This U boot dot bin is the bootloader. We have a tremor, so we now should power off our Kindle by pressing power button. So let's do the following. Uh, I am start this comment. I'll run this comment. We have a uh, screen that's waiting for device so I'll connect my Kindle to PC
Okay. So uh, I, well, now I have my Kindle file with working dead and system. Let's check. So now we should the power of our Kindle. I disconnected my Kindle Fire from MacBook, so now I'm going to enter command to reboot my Kindle Fire into system, into Android system. Now we have our Kindle file with install Debian, uh, but with uh, ROM uh, attached screen calibration. Uh, we can do the same. Well, sorry, we can do the following. Uh, now I should set up a network connection to my Kindle Fire. This is the OTG cable, USB OTG cable, as you can see. Uh, this is the radio receiver of my wireless mouse and keyboard. I should connect this uh, cable to activate uh, USB client. So on my MacBook I can see multifunction gadget. Uh, so I'm sorry, I forgot so one thing. Uh, this uh, image file contains uh, some options to uh, network interface. IP address of our Kindle is the 192.168.1.1. And netmask is uh, 255.255.255.0. Uh, so uh, AP address of our host computer must be uh, 192.168.5.2, and the netmask is the same as the Kindle. Uh, let's click OK. Uh, now apply. So now I can log in to my Kindle by SSH command.
so now, now I'll open my threads on XDs developers form and I'll copy now uh, some text and insert in uh, configuration file on our keyboard. section and insert uh, some text from this post. Text. So now you can see that the screen open incorrectly. Uh, now I will restart so uh, X server. That's going to look incorrectly. That's all. Uh, now you will have uh, Kindle tablet with working web and operating system and uh, correctly working touch screen.